You know what time it is. You're welcome back to the movie trivia schmodown commentary by myself, Sober Ryu. We call this the schmodown run back. And if you never watched this before, well, you're done watching for now. You need to pause this, then go find the actual uh, link down below that says uh, watch this video first. It'll take you to the direct link for the video that I'll be doing commentary on it in the next few minutes here on this video. Then when you watch it, come on back and check this video out. Make sure when you're watching the original video for the movie trivia schmodown for this particular episode that you go and you give it a thumbs up and you leave a comment and you subscribe to youtube.com. Oh my God, my hand placement. YouTube.com slash Collider Videos. Never been there before? Go there and check out their, co their content. They had a contest. Um, maybe it's still going. I'm not sure where you had to say what you like about Collider Videos in 10 seconds. I can't do that in 10 seconds. I've been watching that channel since they moved from AMC over, AMC Movie Talk over to uh, Collider Videos and I've been watching devoutly ever since. It's got so much content, so much great news on movie uh, movie news for the most part and a lot of great commentary and a lot of great conversations on what's happening in the movie sphere as far as I'm concerned it's fantastic and uh, everybody should check that out if you love movie news if you love movies in general you should definitely go and check out Collider videos every freaking day they always got something popping uh, whether it be mailbag whether it be movie talk which is the main draw to the channel now the schmodown uh, the movie trivia schmodown is becoming quite the draw itself so you guys should definitely be checking out Collider videos every day if you like movie news. If you don't want to get movies spoiled for you, they're really good about not spoiling things, but sometimes when movie news comes up, yeah, you're going to get exposed to some things you may rather not know. For me, it's par for the course. Uh, at the end of the day, they don't spoil what's important about movies, and I really do dig uh, watching the channel, especially when they review movies. They do have uh, spoiler-filled reviews for films, and people should check those out But um, after you've watched the movie, of course. but. Until then, just enjoy their content. Uh, it's it's up there. It's free. Um, it's 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 becoming a um, an oddity now because a lot of channels of that level of production uh, have had to go to a subscription based model to keep to stay alive. And for some reason, Collider's been able to uh, keep the boat afloat uh, with the YouTube ad model and whatever other sponsors that they have. Also, Schmoes No is a great channel too. YouTube.com/slash Schmoes No. Never been there before? Go there. Check out their movie reviews. They're fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking hilarious man Christian and Mark man plus all the stuff they have going on there the Schmoes No movie show which is on Wednesdays at 10pm uh, Eastern Standard Time you guys should definitely check that out man it's live and they they, they, they definitely um, have great conversations on that show a lot of great guests uh, people should definitely check that out and uh, let them know how they're doing in the meantime though today's episode of the Schmodown Runback I'm doing commentary on the latest episode the episode that aired on May the 12th 20, uh, 2017, of course, I'm forgetting what year we're in. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, the Inner Geekdom title shot match, and that is between Robert Meyer Burnett and Jeremy Johns, the internet's Jeremy Johns, man. You know, Mr. Punch the Screen, Mr. Awesome Tacular, man. I love Awesome Tacular, by the way. You can watch that from Verizon Go 90, great show. Um, they're both facing off in order to have a title shot for the Inner Geekdom Championship belt. Uh, and that uh, belt holder right now is, uh, what's his name, Hector Navarro, the villainous, the small Hector Navarro. <laughs> Part of the Young Bucks, those guys, those guys. Um, but yeah, it should be a very interesting match. Uh, my matchup for that is 6-4. I think Burnett's going to pull it out. Um, a lot of it has to do with the wheel again, but, you know, the wheel is uh, unfair to everyone. Uh, and it can be fair to everyone, it just depends on what it decides to do. So, I would say, um, I'm hanging on pins and needles about that wheel, but I do think Burnett's gonna take it. Uh, Burnett is hungry, man. He wants that belt back. It looked good on his shoulder when he wears the coat. The magic coat of Burnett. This is the battle for Seattle, gentlemen. The battle for Seattle, the Pacific Northwest. The battle of the captain of the hot toys, man. I heard that there's a hot toy up for grabs on this one, depending on who wins this match, because both Jeremy Johns and Robert Meyer Burnett are avid hot toys collectors. I don't know where they find the fucking money. Jesus Christ. I wish I owned a hot toy. <laughs> the most I could collect are those figures back there, Pops and the occasional Capcom girl. I don't I don't know what to do. I I, I, I don't know how I get to their level. I really don't. It's too it's too much for it's too rich for my blood. Oh and some amiibos, which you can barely see because my camera's not high definition enough. But um yeah, yeah. Uh the I, a, a hot toy is possibly up for grabs depending on who wins this match. 
and uh, maybe they'll talk about it during the video. I don't know. I really, I, I, I want to see the uh, the aftermath of this video, depending on who loses. But uh, yeah, they both are avid hot toy collectors. If you can't miss that shit, if you watch uh, Collider Heroes, when Robert Meyer, Byer, Meyer Burnett finds ways to squeeze hot toys into the conversation, it used to be it used to be odd, but now I find it endearing and funny every time he does it. <laughs> But there's a really cool video of Robert Meyer Burnett's uh, hot toy collection over on uh, on on Collider, and it was part of the uh, hundredth episode of Collider Heroes. So if you guys missed that, you can run that back and check that uh, video out. He shows off a lot of his hot toys. He doesn't even show off his collection up to date because he's gotten a lot more since then. He didn't even show off every hot toy he had. So yeah, he's uh he he he's into that. He's he's into that man. I don't know how I don't know how he does it, man. He must be uh, paid out the frame. But anyway. We're about to get into this again if you haven't watched the original video yet please go check that out first or at least watch it in sync with this one so that way that video gets its uh proper views and uh thank you for doing so let's go ahead and get this popping i blathered on enough all right uh and you guys always know what to do if you're gonna watch this in sync with the original video make sure to count make sure to unpause it when i say one and it should be in lockstep let's do this three two one Doggy, let's go. Oh, yo, we running the back. Yo, the homie beamed in. Look at this guy. <laughs> he comes out so humble. I think it's time that I love me some fucking four horsemen. So glad he's part of the team. Yeah, man, he this hurt him. This fucking hurt him. Yo, winner! This hurt me so hard. Boo! Boo! No, Young Bucks, you can't have one. You just can't have a championship, damn it. He's so small. The belt is so big, it's too big for him. Murder him. Please. I mean, that's one way to Yo, the pop off is great. Binks, Yo, my man knew the forbidden knowledge. He knew it. He knew it. Yo, that's a, Jeremy's no slouch, man. He's he's gonna put up a fight. Yo, my man came came ready to fight. Lightsaber, baby. That was a good match, man. I hurt me too, man. I want to see. I wanted to see Rachel take that, man. Yo, he has been on that fucking Breath of the Wild, though. Like, like myself. Make sure you cooked enough food, bro. Gotta make enough elixirs. That's right, sir. In the end, he knows what time it is. Can only be one champion of the Great Pacific Northwest, so I gotta take him on. Oh, gotta face your fears, bro. The elder statesman versus the young, the youngin. What's Jeremy gonna become part of the young bucks, man? Yo, but Burnett is flexing on him. Yo, old Palpy, man. Punch it, man. It's always punching cameras. I saw that on the on the Facebook group. Pip squeak. He's got the he's got to go through Jeremy Johns just to get his run back. He needs to do Evil Captain Kurt from the 1966 show <laughs> from the original series. Damn, Captain Kurt! Here we go. Yo, yo. Why does Jeremy look like he's flying? <laughs> Super reviewer. Oh shit, we got Campy on deck? I see you. That's right. We've got a match here today that a lot of fans the crazy Canadian. have been waiting for. This is a big match, John. These are two heavyweights. Even though it's not yo, Christian a is flanneled out. <laughs> number one contender. <laughs> championship. And you have hero. You have villain. You have a just a great match overall. 
with the number two contender. My man, my man is doing his his katas as he's coming out with his cup. Why, why are you spilling water all over the floor? This is a division. Look at look at man. I've been loving it. Fans have been loving it. I've had competitors coming up to me say, "I want to compete in there," and I say, "You want to compete against Robert Meyer Burnett?" And they say, "Well, maybe not." You want to compete against Jerry right. John? Maybe not. And you know who none of them want to compete against is another competitor not in this match today who was this close to being in this match today, and that's Rachel Cushing. It's a stack. I know, yo, Rachel. Rachel ain't no joke, man. She was on point two. She was that close. Today, Absolutely. John shocked the world. John he snatched victory from the Jaws of defeat in that one. And I think what he is. I'm telling you, if Rachel made it, I may have had to go in. I, if she had won, I'd probably be backing her in this fight. She's super strong, man. I'm telling you. He said to me, because the first time I asked him, he's like, ah, you know, I might want to do it. I don't know. I'm not big on the competition shows. And then he did it. And then he got the bug. After the spectacular, he said, when do I get to do it again? Damn straight. his first viewing of pornography at a young age, and he's been hooked ever since. He has, indeed. Yo, X videos confirmed? Very well. He can't sleep on Jeremy. But for now, Yo, Red Tube? He's got the personality. He is the former champion. And there's a lot of smack talk here between these guys. Here you go. All right, here we go. Let me see the Yang be spoke. Attention, please. The captain this is here. Is your captain speaking? Oh, is that McCready on his shirt? And this has been a lot of fun. I mean, when I didn't win, it was fun. When I won, that was a lot of fun. The most fun is seeing Robert Meyer Burnett's face turn red as he screams <laughs> How it his cell phone camera on Twitter. <laughs> That's a lot of intensity. I'm not that intense. So today, well, you better find that hunger fast, bro. My title from that featherweight of a man, Hector Navarro. <laughs> I have to yes. battle Jeremy Johns. Jeremy Fucking McCready, Johns. son. Jeremy Johns is an inconsequential internet personality. One million followers? Who cares? <laughs> Here's the thing about Robert Meyer Burnett being the champion. He's the former champion. So really, we're on the same level. And we have the same record, same win streak. So oh, damn. Here we are, toe to toe. So Jeremy's hand of the, the king? I haven't seen him smile once. Jeremy oh, yeah, he smiles. He is just someone I'm going He's to whispering smile. sweet nothings to the mic. Way back to reclaiming the Inner Kingdom title. That is <laughs> the Inner Kingdom title. That is mine. He forgot he had a mic in his I hand for a second. I founded it, and I want it back. I would love to be the Inner Kingdom champion because right now, me versus Robert Meyer Burnett. This is me versus a villain. This is one of the horsemen. Hey, man. I just got to take the villain down. He's just an anti-hero, all right? Love to be the champion. Take it easy with that villain stuff. They're always trying to make him a star. <laughs> but that guy, he just wants to get it's, his it's fucking true, right? He's going to guess his Fucking way Army Hammer. Place. Why do they keep trying? Because I am going to put him on a pike and cut his head off. Like Captain Pike? Or would cut his head off? And then put it on a pike. <laughs> <laughs> That's but usually how it goes. We're both in this position, this situation, <clears throat> number one contender match for a reason. We, we're both on the level. We're Jeremy putting on his brave face. Deserve to be here. Difference is, you've been here before. Mm -hmm. You had it. You He's got experience. It. It's my turn now. All I'm right. Going to go through you. Don't get the jitters, bro. So then you guys can come back after me. Like I've said from the beginning. Jay, I see you flossing. Fun, and by the end of this day, I'm going to have a lot more fun than you are. Punch I it. Promise. Punch it. Boy, <laughs> out. It's supposed to crack the glass. It's supposed to turn. Anyone could have called that. Smash the white. That big, boisterous, saying that Jeremy Johns is merely a stepping stone on his way to getting Hope his he comes out in the magical jacket, bro. The little pipsqueak, Hector Navarro. The little pipsqueak. you have Jeremy Johns who says, no, you were the champion. That time's over. It's my time now. Jeremy is rolling into this match with a lot of head headway going. He's got a lot of confidence rolling right now. His performance in the Star Wars match was incredible. Of course, pulling out that great he did great man against multiple competitors in the, to get he was strong. He was strong during that. I'm sorry, uh, Meyer Burnett. And I think everybody knows. It. Sorry to see him he go. Rolls a Star Trek category. It could be a very long day for Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. But Jeremy knows Star Trek too. That's 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 not a blind spot for Jeremy. Champion himself. Booker T with his pick. If Jeremy rolls Star Wars Star Trek though, he can't afford to miss a question. Woo! Here we go, man. Booker T, I missed you last that bro. What's up, guys? It's Booker T the five. Yo, my man got his extensions. This week, all is going Wish I could grow my hair that long, man. Fuck. Yo, my man is in the studio, bro. Versus Robert Burnett, and the winner will get a shot. He's getting his shit remastered. At the title now. 
My pick. My man, Jeremy Jones. Oh. He's been good. Oh. Sometimes. Booker's been he's extremely great. good at but on making this predictions. Night, I think he's going to be. All right. Boy, Vic. Oh, Vic. Boy, Vic. Talking about shocking the world. Yo, what's he like wearing? Is that black guy? i shake up the world in 64 and talk no more. That's my man, <laughs> Jeremy Jones. Title implications on the rise. Hey, oh, look, look at this, man. He's, he's back in the young buck, bro. I'm sorry, Booker T. I got to step off, man. I got to step off the Booker T train, man. Don't get shut out. And I know you can dig that. <laughs> Sucker. I love it every time he's on, man. It's surreal that he's well, on this. It's so that? good. Booker T going with the underdog here in Jeremy John saying he's going to do I'm the I'm going upset. with my captain. Very, All right. Very interesting. <laughs> and you have Rob Ryan hearing screaming from the back. Yeah. Uh, the full horse <laughs> Yet, but I'm sure John Rook will be here a little later to support their former champion. Wait, what? Roker I'm running ready. late? I'm ready to oh, go. no. Ladies and gentlemen, Roker, come it's on, time man. for the movie. This Trivia is your boy, man. You're supposed to be here. Just step into the frame, bro. All right. Three rounds for the number one contendership. Hopefully in he's here before the match is over. Division. Introducing first. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Tacular. With oh, this fucking song! I <laughs> think this song wasn't already stuck in my head already. Joker, Yo, fuck you, Negan. <laughs> he does fucking love this song. Like, the day after that episode aired, he was on Movie Talk talking about it. Yo, he's come with all the Horcruxes. Two of them are going to ask you the Game of Thrones questions. And his opponent. Representing. Oh, shit. He's coming out to the man's thing. Yo, what? He says he's got his own lightsaber. Yeah. One defeat. He is the former movie trivia champion. Fucking Ric Flair, man. Oh, he's here. You knew it. You knew the outlaw wasn't missing nothing. I know humor. I, I know I'm human. <laughs> yo, 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 throwing up sides. <laughs> yo, the pop off. Jeremy, I give four stars. <laughs> Yo, the best boys. Yo, the crew, baby. Yo, Roka on point. <laughs> I'm gonna give Burnett 4.5, 4.5 stars. Not, not Roka, I mean, uh, Burnett 4.5 stars. I, I, you know, it's the it's the heat he brought. Anniversary of Star Wars this year. We're both hot toys fans. That's right. What's up for grabs, bro? And recently, uh oh, a couple weeks ago. Yes. They announced they're going to release a Princess Leia Hoth hot toy figure. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So okay. I'm going to bet you <laughs> oh, oh. a Princess Leia oh. hot toy Hoth outfit that I will beat you. If I beat you, you owe me. And if you beat me, well, Shake. then I owe you. All right. So what do you say we have a friendly side wager? Yes. In the deal here, Larry, yes. What do you think? Very Are you using my love for hot toys as leverage? <laughs> 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 ah yeah, that's my boys. Good shit, good shit, fellas. Real stakes, real stakes. Now they're gonna be playing even harder. All right, here we go. That's a lot of fucking money. Oh my god. Fourteen questions. What? Fourteen questions. Yo, really? That's like half his age. Fourteen questions in round number one from the categories of Marvel movies, Close. MCU movies, DC movies, DCEU, Star Trek, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. Across Those the gambit, man. Across the gambit. Questions. One point but we do have a gambit popping with the Leia Hot Toy. Nice. When you answer, show the board to the camera and answer. RP Carrie time. Fisher, man. Time. That's, that's, right. a nice, that's, so, that's nice that that's being uh, champion, are you ready? brought to the forefront here. It's pretty cool. Yes, I am. Yes. All right, Jeremy Johns, are you ready? Oh, not future champion, but yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then let's get ready to schmoot out. My cat Three just came rounds. into the office. Yo, All Felicia, right, please. Don't Question knock the mic, one please. In the category of the MCU. 
What is the name of the man helped, held captive oh, in the Jensen. cave alongside Tony Stark in Iron Man? I know Robert knows this. He should. It's Jensen. Jensen. Oh, no, fellas. <laughs> Yo, son. Yo, kid. Yo, kid would definitely be Jensen. <laughs> Always had quips. Tony Almeida. No. Jeremy. No. That dude in everything. That's also no, no. <laughs> Looking for either Yinsen or Johansson. Yeah. All right. Next. Category. All right, gentlemen. Your second question comes to you from the category of Harry Potter. Okay. What is the name of the second Harry Potter film? Okay. The Philosopher's the Stone the was the first. Uh, fuck. I didn't like them at first, but they grew on me much. The like second is the. Uh, yeah. Oh Five, my God. Four. Order of the uh, Phoenix. Three. Yeah, it's long. No, Order of the Phoenix was the fourth one. Oh, and man, I don't one, remember these down. titles all that well. Anyway, pens down. Jeremy. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's point. correct. Robert. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That's yeah, correct. good shit, good shit. One, one. That was all hard tied to up. Write, man. One, one, baby. That's a long title. Here we go. Question three. I'd have wrote the Chamber of Secrets. Trek. Uh, or and the Chamber of Secrets. Here we go. Who villainous Dr. Soran in Star Trek? Woo! Malcolm McDowell! Not Malcolm not McDowell, he was just on the Schmoes. No, man. He was just on the Schmoes. No movie show. Check that episode out. It was not this week's, but last week's, man. That's good shit. Six. Before you. Seven. Eight, yeah, I was just. Nine. Kind of and. I don't know why I counted it ten. Robert. Malcolm McDowell. That's, That's correct. correct. Yeah. That's the change Malcolm of pen, bro. Oh, that was oh, a big point. point for good shit. Good shit. Hell yeah, that dude. That was big. You got to score points in that Star Trek category. All right, All right guys. Four. Your fourth question comes to you from the category of DC. All right. Who played Harvey Dent in 1989's <laughs> Batman? Billy D. Motherfucking Williams, Lando Calrissian, boys. Billy D. Y'all. He also reprised his role oh in Lego Batman. I wish. Five, four, <laughs> Let's hope he's in. Uh, I'm trying a blank. Two, oh one, man. I, I know. It's, it's no, Robert. Nothing. It's Billy D. Yeah, yeah. that's it correct. <laughs> Right, Robert, man, got it. The Damn, Black Robert. Category. Damn. It happens, you guys. Category. Man, old age, bro. Category it fucks you up. Film. Come on, you gotta step it up, Bob. Come on. What is Magneto's prison cell made of in X2 X Men United? I want to say plastic. I like that film very much. For a yeah. long time, it was my absolute favorite comic book. Yeah, it was one of the best out there, especially in the early 2000s. Uh, version of, uh, Wolverine. Yeah, probably. Five, four, three, two, one. Jeremy. Plastic? Correct for one point. Robert. Plastic. Correct. No, man. The correct answer is plasteel. All right. Plasteel. All right. Next category. Go. Robert, you can, right, guys, you can, you can catch up, baby. You got this. In the category of Star Wars. Oh, shit. In the film The Force Awakens, how many parsecs does Rey mistakenly think the Millennium Falcon did the Kessel run in? I want to say 14. It wasn't far off. Of no, he's not. Robert Martin Burnett's not a fan of The Force Awakens? Really? Really? What do you don't like about it, man? Come on, yo. Come on. No. 14. That's correct. Jeremy John's going up by one. Damn. Oh, no. He threw up a guest ball there and it came down. Yo, Burnett, man, what's wrong with Force Awakens? Don't tell me you think the prequels are better. two towers, what does Treebeard think Merry and Pippin are when he first meets them? Oh man! What does Treebeard think Merry and Pippin are when he first meets? Them? I'm gonna say dwarfs, but I'm probably wrong because I don't remember really. I it was <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, oh man, Bush Snip, the back is boy. Orcs. Correct, Robert. Oh wow. Orcs. Correct. Okay, good shit. All, right, so Robert All that matters is Robert gets this correct, man. All Fuck. Right. They're still within two I points of each other. <laughs> It's not over yet, man. That All wheel right, is going to dictate everything. Great question. Comes to you from the category of the DCEU. But Jeremy has a really good showing right now. In Man of Steel, what did Superman say the S on his suit stood for? It means hope. Interesting. It means hope, man. Okay, we're going to see Man of Steel too. Uh, I think we're going to see probably in the next couple of years. Five, I hope so, man. Four, I love that fucking movie. Three, two, one. Robert. Hope. Correct. Thank you. Jeremy. Hope. Correct. Correct. Jeremy holding on to that lead there. Yeah, man. He's, he's holding on. it down. Jeremy, so has been really... Jeremy, only one incorrect answer yeah. so far. Yeah. Okay, next question. Category of Marvel films. Marvel. In Spider-Man, 
How much is the payout if you oh, survive fuck. three minutes in the wrestling ring? I don't really remember, but I'm gonna say one thousand. I think it's a thousand bucks. It's something like even. Wendy. <laughs> oh yeah, best line in that fucking film. Oh, I miss Randy, dude. It's either five hundred or one thousand. Let me go with one thousand. Believe it's three grand for three minutes. That's correct. Five, me. Hundred thousand dollars. Oh no, it wasn't that big, bro. Oh. Yeah, wow. All right, next category. Come on, Burnett, man. We move on into the category of Lord of the Rings. You don't like that movie either, though. You only like half of In that Return movie. Return of the King. What is the name of the giant? The Lord of the Rings be dominating these categories, man. To. I don't remember. My friend Megan was here. She would know, but she can't stand spiders. But she knows those books backwards and forwards. Yeah, it's super tricky. Four, three, Spido. Two, one, <laughs> Robert. I don't know. Don't have it, Jeremy. Shelob. That's correct. correct. Jesus. Now wow, this man is not fire. fucking up at all. Good shit, man. Next category. Rob game Meyer respect. Game respect. Game, man. Here as we get to the category of Star Trek. In Star Trek, the motion picture. Oh, here we go. Accuses Kirk of being obsessed with keeping control of the Enterprise. I want to say it's McCoy. Without any surprise, Robert yes, goes right to the white yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, no, I know Robert knows this shit. That one he needed. The motion picture is not my favorite cat. Uh, not my favorite movie, but I would say it's McCoy. I think it's McCoy. Pens down, Jeremy. Total guess, Spock. That's incorrect. No, Robert Decker. Incorrect. The correct answer we were looking for was Dr. McCoy. That's what wow. I thought, yeah. Wow, that is well, the that's first... a little. That, that's a little. Are you challenging? You Decker, who, Decker's I who he took. That because there's a whole speech that he gives about. You, you told. Deckard says, you told me how you get your command again. But yeah. Okay, let's, let's pull McCoy that actually. Pat. Bring it that. Yeah, let's bring it that. That's our Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Under challenge, man. Yo, we finally got. Yo, good shit. Way to use the challenge rule. So, we conferred with the judges. The challenge is on the table, and we are going to say that the question is going to stand. The question will. Oh stand. wow! Robert, we'll lose the challenge there, um, and we're going to move to the next. Damn! Challenge. So no points there. Nine, five. Judges should have picked the judge that knows Star Trek, the, though. Like the way the question was stated. Okay, here we go. Well, next fuck. category. But next you know, category. then again, I, I knew I thought Once it was again. McCoy because I remember McCoy talking shit to him about it in the movie. Who played Carol Ferris? In the movie The Green Lantern, I wouldn't be upset at either one if they get it wrong. No, no that movie sucks. But it's it's uh, it's his current wife. It's uh, Ryan Reynolds' current wife, Blake Blake Lively, if I recall. It's Blake Lively. Uh, Blake Lively. Correct yeah. For one point, Jeremy. It is Blake Lively. Okay. Did you know what you yeah. Okay. 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 There you go. Okay. So now we're ten six. Crowd just. <clears throat> Including me, dude. Sorry, All right. Come on, everyone. Are we having fun? Woo! Let's right. get it. Yeah, look at this guy. He's handsome and he's kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Next category. Yo, the real talk. of Star Wars films. All right, we back. How many towers does the Jedi Temple have on Coruscant? I don't fucking know. How many towers does the Jedi Temple have on Coruscant? <sighs> I want to say one. Be surprised. I want to well, say well, just one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, yeah, we would definitely get this. Two, it's it's one. one I think. Down and Jeremy. Four? Incorrect. Five. Mm. Robert. Five. One. Incorrect. It's five. No. Wow, right, so right. close. Yeah. So close, close Jeremy. Question in round number one. All right. And this once again comes to you guys in the Jeremy still has a pretty solid lead. Universe. MCU baby, come on. In Doctor Strange. Which artist's music is Wong listening to when Beyonce. Strange steals a few extra books from the library? It's Beyonce, man. Yo, all my single ladies, bro. I, like I do too. Drinking my cup, y'all. <laughs> Actually, I wish I had some water right now. Oh, man. Four, pens <clears> down. down. Now, Jeremy and Robert. Oh, B. Beyonce? Correct. Yes. Uh, that's kind of Katy Perry. I just, Incorrect. Yeah, no, no, right, so no. Robert no. Makes it up a little bit. It's 10 no. Cent <laughs> for a Beyonce would disagree. Guys, Jeremy has a three point lead going into round number two. <laughs> wow, that was rough, man. I feel hey, windy. Hey, man. No, look. Like the Hopefully, it lights the fire for the next rounds, bro. A lot of the same categories. All right. already gone through so far today. If it lands on a category they don't like, they can't. So you get five questions. Okay, cool. Choice. Each question will be worth two points apiece. They will have five questions in this round worth two points apiece. You can steal from your opponent and you can opt for multiple choice, and that will diminish the point value to one point. 
Now, All one right. of the things to keep in mind here, too, moving forward, it is important to note that Robert has used his challenge. Going forward in rounds two and three, he can okay. challenge any I was wondering if that was the case. He still has one of those in his back pocket. Yeah. Yep, well, they still have the JTE rule. Three times they can repeat the That's right, man. That they choose it. All right, Gotta extend go. your you lifetime. It's helped people out sometimes, so. I'm gonna go first. All right. Oh, yeah, always go first, Good man. Spin, please. This has multiple choice, right? It does. Yes. Or not yeah, okay. I just need to make sure. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if anyone listens to what I'm saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm glad he asked, though, because that's a big mistake from a lot of people. They don't go multiple choice. It's going to land. This is a big spin for Jeremy. <laughs> Chris is just saying, I, I should repeat. Woo! I should repeat. This will have multiple choice in it <laughs> at the very end of his next going to take Harry Potter. All right. All right. He's, he's, I'm sure he's right, strong in it. Jeremy, you got five questions in round number one in the world of Harry Potter. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, mm -hmm. in Harry's transfiguration class, what objects do the students have to change their animals into? Oh, oh fuck. I shouldn't have done this. Um, yeah, multiple choice, bro. Multiple choice. What objects? I, I, I don't know offhand. I have to look at the answers. Animals into. You got multiple choice, bro. Certainly. Come on, man. Don't forget. Don't forget. Multiple choice. Two. Bags. Does not go for multiple choice. It misses. That's there. right. Fucking multiple choice. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. Uh, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In Harry's <laughs> it shouldn't be for that objects, initial. If he gets a steal chance. Into. Damn. I wish. I wish Jeremy went to multiple Hats? choice. No. Incorrect. Looking for water goblins. Water goblins. Is that really it? Right. Oh, I'm mind fucked. Here you, here you go, Mukuga. Jeremy. Question two. <laughs> yeah, Mukuga can do that, right? Yeah, if you choose to ask it, yes. <sighs> we got four more questions, bro. The gillyweed for the second triwizard challenge in the Goblet of Fire. Gillyweed. Oh yeah. I want to say it's uh the homie uh player two. I uh, forget his name. Uh, something bottom. Neville Longbottom. A Neville Longbottom. Yes, yeah, Neville. B Dobby. C, Hermione. D, Mad -Eye Moody. It's Neville, because Neville does Herbology or... Incorrect. No. Chance for a steal. It's, it's Neville, baby. Come on. It's Neville. Dobby. Incorrect. Neville Longbottom. Can I just say, the bottom half of my body is completely, completely disappointed in me right now. <laughs> which is different than... Your ass is failing you, bro. My body disappoints <laughs> other people. Oh, oh, yes, shit. Of, uh, yo, yo, exposed? Or not <laughs> I'm not going there. What are the hooded... Ghostly figures that's oh, Dementors. Dementors! There you go for two Correct. points. There you go, finally. Finally, back on the board, right. baby. Back on the board. Right. <laughs> Jeremy, who directed Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Oh, it was, uh, I believe it was Multiple David choice. Yates. A, Mike Newell. B, Alfonso Cuaron. Nope. C, Christopher Columbus. D, David Yates. I want to say it's either Mike Newell or David Yates, but right. I think it's David Yates. I think that's when he started to do the Mike movies. Newell. That's correct. correct. Oh, shit. Point. Okay, one Mike, I guess David Yates started from five on. on I know he did the most. Question, but. Jeremy. All right. What kind of animal... Nice guess, though. Good shit. ...serious black change into? Is it... A wolf? No. A werewolf. It's incorrect. No, Actually, that was the other guy. That was Lupin. Yeah, I love the what over there. Thank you. Uh, uh, the what? <laughs> dire wolf? No. Or a dog. Dog. A dog? Yeah. Thinking of, uh, Lupin. Professor, Professor Lupin. Yeah. You're thinking of Lupin. No, cat, yeah, get the fuck out of here! Boxing. Cat, you can't go in. This Jeremy, fucking cat went under my Jeremy desk. Now, still, the Harry Potter may have been a bad choice, but he Felicia, still has for real? a four-point lead. He's I'm got never a... wearing these PJ bottoms again. <laughs> <laughs> the curse. Ryan Burnett hits something terrible. Hey, don't get Star Trek. Cool. Terrible. Oh my, he's, he's, spin, he, he's spinning that wheel twice. There you go, Robert. Your spin, you're up. Well, Harry Potter's off the Robert board. Big, and if he get lands on opponent's choice, uh, Jeremy's picking who said it. There's Robert no way he's not picking who said it. Quickly. That might as well be the movie release dates. Category on the board right now. Nope. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. Oh, Fuck! Opponent's choice! It oh, hit opponent's oh, choice! Goodness. Where's he gonna go with this? Oh! He pick you pick the he's wheel. picking who said it. This is what he's picking. What's he gonna pick? He's picking. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> he's picking it's who said it. Or Lord of the Rings. He cannot take he can't Harry He's either picking Lord of the Rings or who said it. Go with? Well, I can't do Harry Potter. You Correct. Cannot. You cannot pick Harry Potter. Should have saved that for you. He may go with something. He has, yeah, yeah I figured Rings. this much. It, it came in handy last time. Lord I don't see why not. Does the former Son of a bitch. Know Lord of the Rings. Find out he right knows some. Extended uh, DVDs. Oh, what? Hey, good shit. 
Just saying. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yo, shots fired? All right, I see you. First up with for you and your buddy. All right, brother. I hope it comes through for you. You need you need this category. You need these answers. Who signed the banishment order to remove Aelmir from Rohan in the two towers? Oh fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Multiple choice. Yeah, you might as well. It's not a bad thing. B. Hama, C. Gambling, D. Theoden. I think it's Theoden or Grim. Grim. Yeah, it's incorrect. It's Theoden. Correct. Shit. Jumping on it, and I heard Rachel Cushing screaming from the inside. Fuck. Your second question, Lord. All right, man. I just hope you remember. Fellowship of the Ring. Gandalf left to investigate Bilbo's ring. Where did he go to do his research? Shit. It's not my strongest category, man. Warthank? Incorrect. Damn, multiple choice if you don't know. Correct for two Oh, wow. And he just gave Jeremy two questions. I'm telling you, if you... Yeah. Yeah. If you're not 100%, man, multiple choice. You'd rather give your opponent one quest, one point than two. the king, the elves reforged the sword that cut the ring from Sauron's hand. What name was the reforged sword given? Sting, right? That's multiple choice. Is it A, Orchrist, B, Enderil, C, Sting, D, Nasil, Narsil, Enderil? Correct. Woo! Oh, Thank One point God. Fifteen nine. <laughs> Robert Myron F fighting back here. Come on, Robert, you got this, man. Salvage a couple more points here. Yeah, you got to get. You can't question. miss not one of these. In the two towers. On the way to Helm's Deep, the refugees were attacked by orcs riding what? They weren't fucking horses. Um, I don't think they were bulls either. Rhinos, possibly? Was it A, fell beasts? Uh, B, bears. bears? C, barrowites? D, wargs? Wargs. Correct for one. As long as you get it, that's all that matters to me, bro. Come back here. All right. Not too bad. Damage looked bad. Like I said, multiple choice is better than no choice at all. Final question in round number two. Through what creature did Gandalf relay a message to the eagles? Fly, you fools! Of the ring to escape imprisonment from the top of Saruman's tower. Oh shit! Multiple choice. I don't know the. What's... Is it A a sparrow, B a bat, C a moth, D a butterfly? C a moth. That is correct. correct. For one. Wow. It was a nice ride. It looked like it was getting nasty there yep. for a second. John stole some points. Robert yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad Robert picked it up towards the end, but as we reach the that's still that four-point lead, point. though. It's, it's kind of tough to get past here. I mean, Jeremy's going to have to pick some really rough categories to not win this. But I got faith in my boy. I got faith in Burnett, man. Come on. The captain's going to pull through like Captain Kirk always does. Except in generations. Robert Meyer Burnett. Four, six, twelve. Four. Damn, six, he picked an order. Twelve. All Fuck. right. Robert, you picked, are all, you picked to avoid a all, all even here. numbers too. Need to answer at least two of these questions. The I always want a true mix up when I pick my numbers. Four. That is in the category. Odds and evens. The out of order. MCU, all right, man. Come on, you got Which this. Which phase one MCU film, including the post-credit scenes, did Samuel L. Jackson not appear as Nick Fury? I would say uh, Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. He did not show up in that movie, not one iota. Incredible Hulk, man. The Incredible Hulk. Thank you. That's correct. That is correct. correct. I honestly don't remember him being in Thor either, to be honest. I don't, I don't think he was in Thor at all, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. I know Coulson was. category of... Who said it? Who said it? Okay. Who said the line must be drawn here? This far. Get the Picard. Thank you. Star Trek First Contact. Thank you, sir. Oh, good shit. Oh, right up his alley. The line must be drawn here. Good shit. Thank God. Okay, now we bounce back to Jeremy Johns, who chose category. Line must be drawn here. All right. What was this? Jeremy he Jones. knows what time he it is. Chose the number eight. That gives you the corresponding category of DC. Just generally DC. DC movies. Yep. Okay. All right. So it's not points, just DCEU. It's all. It's all the movies. What is the name of Morgan Freeman's character 
in the dark Man, Lucius Road. Fox. Lucius Fox. Yeah, man. Correct. You asking a Batman oh, fan that question? One of the coolest fucking names. Or Jeremy in all of Batman. Hector Navarro for the championship. The I'll tell you what, if Jeremy wins this, I'm rooting for right, Jeremy in that Harry fucking that fucking fight. I'll tell you that. Robert, and you chose Come on, Burnett. Harry Potter films. Shit! Other than Harry Potter, name two of the three remaining Tri Wizard challengers in Goblet of Fire. Cedric Diggory is one. Oh fuck! I want to say Hermione's another, but. No and your winner. Man. He's facing Hector for the championship. Yo, Jeremy, man, I gotta give it up. Booker T was right again. God damn. Oh, man. Oh, Burnett, man. At least you had the belt once. <laughs> that opponent's choice fucked up everything, man. God damn. For the championship. My brother didn't even get a respin. Son of a bitch. Burnett, he seemed to check off all the boxes. Yeah. From, from spinning opponent's choice to having, you know, Jeremy spin one of his strengths in Harry that was a, Potter. That was a toughie, and bro. Logistic, and, then, and then on his five-point question. I'm telling you, this category, I'm sorry, this, this league is no is fucking joke. Inner geekdom is tough. At it. Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings are the two categories that he likes to stay away from. But it takes specific fucking knowledge. And so it looks like Jeremy John is now pushed Jeremy, if you think about it the craziest thing is Jeremy Johns has a better record than the champion yes he oh two and one, wow and listen, that's mind fucking beat the guy who has beaten Hector Navarro before so I kind of like Jeremy's chances rolling into this title man oh man the loss against the guy who beat him at the spectacular <coughs> so let's talk to Emma Fife who is with both Robert Meyer Burnett and Jeremy Johns What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? We are here with Jeremy Johns, who has done it again. I hey, man, good shit. What can I say? Just here to have fun, <laughs> and this is really fun. Yeah. What can I say? Well, I mean, let, let's let's roll back, Jeremy Johns. Okay. Let's roll back to uh, before the Schmodown Spectacular. For and someone who well, had no interest at first, the first time it's around. nice that he's, 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 he's yeah. definitely I mean, taken to this. I was like, hey, you want to do this thing? I was like, eh, I don't know. It might not be my thing. I saw how fun it could be. So I was like, yeah, that looks like, that looks like a good time. Let's do it. So I did it, and, well, here I am. Here you are. You just keep winning. Right, Yo, well, fun fact. Know, I, uh, I, Jeremy I, Johns has one of the lie. best impressions of Harry Shaggy <laughs> on Scooby-Doo, man. That. I know that. That's what I'm going to do. That's the next priority. I mean, I you do have on some very nice Harry Potter pajama pants. Yeah, so. you need to study up, man. Have been wor I, I need to be worthy to wear them. So, <laughs> to do that, I need to really bone up on that knowledge. Go home and brush up on your Harry Potter. Now, this, Are you I worthy? Say, Jeremy, we have a found Hogwarts. out that... Maybe Lord of the Rings is a not so secret strength of yours because if I remember She's not correctly, so secret in at all. the last inner geekdom, Jason Inman was gifted uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Took turns oh, yeah. stealing that from him. Is that what they said? Oh, that was gifted. I'm telling you, I knew that she was going to crush Lord of the Rings. I just needed to be faster on the buzzer than she was, and she was faster than me ever. Oh, she bodied you, so, bro. I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I tried a tactic. It didn't work out, but I've never hidden the fact that I love me the Lord of the Rings. But it definitely served you well this time. Yes, absolutely. It served me well this time. My only thing was I was kind of apprehensive, like, should I have spun again? And then the, when the opponent's choice comes up, which is a variable, you can't plan that. But when that came up, I could have given him Harry Potter, or him Lord of the, uh, Harry Potter, right? Yeah, yeah, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. There's a lot happening in my head right now. <laughs> there is. But, you know, so I, many things. So you look back but in the end it, it totally it worked it seemed to work out well now you are the number one contender so you will have a chance to take on the current champion hector navarro yes. how are you feeling going into that match in we'll the, collider collision? Uh, the collider collision i think he's got this though i think he definitely has the bar man i would definitely say that's a six four matchup as well a few times great i haven't seen hector enough but i think jeremy's going in with enough momentum to take him gotta go for hector so hector got to man you and me man brother you need to get the belt bring the belt home to awesome tacular bro today and last time yeah, I think I have a pretty good chance. Gonna marathon me some Harry Potter. Have I said that? <laughs> that. You got to, bro. I will not be surprised you got no choice. To continue to see uh, great things out of you. So I have a question for you, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you are going to be the new Intergeekdom champion? I think he is. Well, Metachlorians are not a thing, but the Force is. I feel Metachlorians like do? The force. I'm feeling good about this. I really am. The Force is speaking to you me. It worked on the wheel when I used the Force on the wheel. That's true. Oh, he's, you used it on the wheel? Well, may the Force be with you, Jeremy, and we will see what happens in the Collider Collision. We'll be he right back with Robert Meyer He was Meyer clocking Burnett. a grip on the wheel with the Force? And we oh, man. Robert Meyer Burnett.
Matt and John it's Roca ridiculous. seems to be here, here as Emma. well. This is enough. This is this thing. It's madness been from the beginning. That's right. right? Tell him. Rig, I know they're going to rig me at Collider Collision. This man oh. is the man that should be facing Hector Navarro, that joke of a champion. The four horsemen are getting screwed <laughs> over all over this tournament. All they're over. Losing legitimately. They're, they're losing all the belts. All the records. The like, oh, this is so ridiculous. Get him back, Emma, fellas. You too. You've been against us from the beginning. Dude, no. Place has been against you go right us. off Emma now? Harloff? Don't. don't Hold off. I don't know what you're doing, man. Oh, shit. But I don't like it. <laughs> this is the man. It should be challenging Hector Navarro. Tell him. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> well, the outlaws spoke. I believe in what he says. I do too. I think I've made a fatal error. Vito <laughs> <laughs> okay. Corleone, who is the star of my favorite film of all time, The Godfather, once said, never let anyone outside the family know what you're thinking. My problem is I've been acting like a 70s comic book villain. Uh oh Screaming and yelling and talking about how Hector Navarro is going down. <laughs> Definitely wrong, true. That was the wrong way to be. I need to be cunning. I need to be behind the scenes. That's right, man. I need to take... A page from your book. You need to be Baron Zemo. I be just an outlaw. I want to be the greatest supervillain on the planet. Hell yeah! No one will ever see me coming again. And they'll never see really, me you coming. Want to take a page from the outlaw's book. He's the most notorious screamer and yeller we have here in the league. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is you, Emma. I have beaten myself in two matches. I get all cocky, and what happens? I you need to read. You need to watch question. the Lord of the Rings Star movies. Trek question. I miss Lord of the Rings. I don't know who Shelob is. Really? <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, this, this not yelling and screaming thing is really working out for you. Here, Meyer Never. Huh? You're against us. Rose okay. is right. Fuck all y'all. Okay. <laughs> he dropped the bike. <laughs> Then fuck all y'all, and then he takes her mic. <laughs> Tim Franco, Franco, whatever, Andy Signora, clone, some fan from he's late to the party. Who, who's ever late to parties? The lame millennials are late to parties. You get there first, so you get the best alcohol. Everyone knows that. But I'm gonna take Yo, the game facts from I'm from Burnett. I'm gonna get my mojo back, just like Jim Morrison did. And you know what? I'm coming back. I'm get coming him. back for Inman. I'm coming back for. Hector Navarro, and most of all, I am coming back for Jeremy John. <laughs> all right, so much happening there. Obviously, nice. Jeremy talking about he's got respect for Hector Navarro, but he wants Woo. the belt. He's going for that belt. He's in the collision. Bernard, I can't wait for you to come back, back, baby. He had broke in there screaming about it's how he's still he my was favorite. And that's what does. But Robert Meyer Burnett <laughs> does something we didn't see coming. He challenges one of the guys from late to the party, the fans, the two re the reacting guys who are supposed to be here, and he oh. challenges Tim. Franco to a battle is that him just being angry and that's what's up someone senseless look well I think if you're a competitor like Robert Meyer Burnett and you take a disappointing loss like this one you don't want to sit around and think about it you no. want to jump right back into the ring we've got a couple of guys coming up here that look like they might be tasty for him he's decided to go to the buffet yeah, that's all right man eat up yo Emma would be disrespected all this all of a sudden man don't disrespect Emma goddamn um so there is, there it is. I mean, Jeremy Johns, he does it. He shocks the world again. The question is weird. Came Robert through, man. Ever, I cannot deny him. Inner Geekdom League. We know he's probably going to have this singles match if Tim Franco accepts it. But uh, in the Inner Geekdom, there's a lot of new contenders out there. Jason Inman's got to be chomping at the bit now to get it in. Well, I know he's, he's, that he's, he's been wanting to get another shot, man. In the team division. And he's doing quite well with a very good team and Team Heroes. Yeah, he is. If I do say so myself. And he's on a roll there. Yeah, Burnett's well. been holding it down, right, the Team so Heroes. That's and it. Make team sure Trek is no slouch either with Inman. So, so we get more matches Damn just straight. like this. And here's a question for you. Who's going to win at the Collider Collision? Will Hector hold on to the belt, or will Jeremy Johns be our new Inner Geekdom champion? It's going to be Big J, man. Comment, Jeremy's going to take it, man. Come on. Come now. And join the <laughs> Facebook page. And if you are playing fantasy, you should. And why? Well, these two maniacs are going to tell you why. Facebook.com slash group slash Schmodown. Head there right now, guys. Hell yeah. Some hands. <laughs> Post Ooh, must have got a hand transplant. Stroke. You get five bonus points for Jeremy Jones. You got 17 hot points with a total. This guy. He's hot against Hector Navarro. He is a singles inner geek. It's like Cody and Makuga have merged into one being. <laughs> Yo, beat red. Early to parties, all of the good alcohol is right there for that. Makuka knows the facts. He knows them. Your fantasy team is almost winning. 
He's a fan favorite. If you gonna come late, you better bring your own alcohol. And that's coming from somebody that owns pink. The shout outs are late to the party, though. It's cool that one of their owners gonna be in in a geekdom. I know, man. You need to hit the gym, baby. <laughs> Thumbs up button. Oh my god, yo, shout out to the newly engaged Ashley Mova. Good shit. As always. Woo, what an episode, man. Damn. Damn, Jeremy Johns took it, man. I'm wrong again. Don't bet on Soul Bros guesses this shit. <laughs> my speculations are trash. Oh man, good stuff, good stuff. I, I fucking like that episode quite a bit. Oh man, I had, that was a uh, that was a rough one. That's a rough one for the captain, man. It, it hurt me to see him hurting. It, that's what it did, man. But uh, it's cool. It's cool. All I know is uh, it's gonna be quite the showdown at Collider Collision, uh, where we're gonna see uh, the throwdown between uh, Navarro versus Johns. Uh, I'm definitely on Johns' side in that one. I I need to see someone take down Navarro. He doesn't even have as many fights as the other two. He needs he needs to be brought down a peg. So we'll see what happens there. Um, also, you got the three-way battle between um, uh, uh, Roca, uh, Riley, and uh, Merle. So that's going to be going down at the Collider Collision. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's the main event. Uh, that'll be happening. You got the team battle um, championship uh, between uh, the Patriots and Top 10. That'll be happening slightly before the Collider Collision. I think on uh, on July the fo July the 4th? Um, I think that's what I remember reading over on the Facebook group. I could be wrong about that. Someone correct me in the comments if you could. And uh, that is uh, what's happening. Uh, all I know, though, is um, I have, uh, I have a, a couple of... Uh, this past week, basically, I went through and I, uh, I came up with a couple of uh, potential people who could show up on the Schmodown. In the, I wouldn't say the near future, but potentially in the future. I know that Christian has been uh, mentioning a lot about people uh, thumb, thumbing up the videos and um, letting people know about the show so that way they can get more exposure for the show and more comments being put on the videos. And I think that's a good thing because they do get um, more competitors to be on the show and they can get more famous people to be on the show. Just a couple months ago, they had uh, the kids from the... Uh, from what is it the power rangers they had the power rangers battle and granted it was the softball questions questions and stuff like that but it, that just made sense because they're not i don't think they're all as knowledgeable in movies as maybe the regular stable of contestants would be so i wasn't mad at that at all if they're going to give them easier questions that's fine it's 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 not an episode for any kind of placement in the rankings of the league it's just basically an episode just to have fun and to promote their movie and to have them on the Schmodown, which also gets views to the Schmodown. So it's fair trade in that way. And it, it just helps the network the show to more eyes. And I think that's actually a very smart thing. So because of that, I, I only can hope that um, that more exposure for the show will actually get more uh, competitors on the show. And uh, before I get into those uh, those lists, uh, that I, ha I wrote up this week. Uh, I do want to give a big thank you to uh, Solid Shepherd. Uh, on the previous video where it was uh, the Patriots versus the Wolves of Steel, he actually pointed out that I got it backwards when uh, it was JT who actually said it was true romance as the answer, and Snyder opted against it, which caused him to lose that question during the betting round. Uh, that's uh, that. Thank you very much, Solid Shepherd. I really do appreciate that. I went back and ran back that episode and saw that. Saw I made that mistake myself too. So I appreciate uh, you uh, pointing that out, and uh, thank you very much much for doing so and anytime that happens man please people uh correct me if i'm wrong i have no problem with that at all it's just it just depends on how you do it some people can be assholes solid shepherd so, so, solid shepherd was a gentleman and thank you very much for being that i appreciate it so um <clears throat> my uh some of my candidates for people who i'd like to see on the showdown in the future i've got a few uh, i'm gonna start off with uh personalities and nerd punditry because these are kind of these are more than likely people who are going to show up on the showdown sometime in the future. Uh, Maud Garrett, who used to be with Collider, um, or more so with AMC Movie News, before she left uh, to go to uh, Source Fed Nerd before that fell apart. Uh, Maud Garrett has you know, always been in the same circles as the Schmoes and Collider personalities and stuff like that. So I'd really like to see her uh, end up on uh, the showdown in um, in uh, Inner Geekdom, if that's possible. Um, the, what, the What Culture crew 
uh, if you guys know about the YouTube channel, What Culture, it's uh, they're based out of England, so it's kind of tough to to uh, to get something like that to happen on the Schmodown unless there happen to be in LA. So if there's a major, say, WWE event that's in LA and they're gonna come out there anyway, there's a good chance they may be on the Schmodown for an episode, which would be really dope. Um, I know they've been talking with uh, with Collider about making an appearance, and that may happen sometime in the future. I really hope so. Uh, another cat, another pair of cats that are um over in australia the weekly planet crew that would be mr sunday movies and nick mason they have a funny as fuck podcast where they talk about movie news uh comic book movie news and stuff like that and uh they come to i know uh, mr sunday movies has traveled to the states once or twice so um it may be possible in the far future that they may show up on the on the showdown at least i'd like to see that happen uh comic book girl 19 is a regular on um i would semi-regular over on heroes so uh, to get her an inner geek them would be kind of fun i would like to see that happen uh andre the black nerd also is another youtuber who would be really good in inner geekdom too um amy dallin who's a almost a regular on heroes as well would be cool so it'd be nice to see more females get into inner geekdom so um i have a bunch of names for that actually uh matthew key from uh screen junkies and uh marvel movie news over on popcorn talk i've been waiting for him to show up he's a really good friend of ken knapsack so it would be cool to see him show up on inner geekdom sometime soon also on that show with him is uh marquia mccarty who um would be fantastic i think she would do really well in the showdown as well um and also um uh, emergency awesome's uh charlie schneider um, you guys probably are familiar with his YouTube channel. I think he would kill in Inner Geekdom. I really think he would because he covers all that stuff all the time. I guess it just depends on if he has time. And I don't know if he actually lives close to where Collider uh, records or does their shows. But people have been asking for him to be on the Schmodown for a while now. And it'd be interesting to see him. He's been on Schmo's No before um, when it comes to the Schmo's No movie show. But I think that was back in Phase 5. So there's that. Um, then getting to uh, personalities and film punditry. <laughs> At least... Uh, a, a, a parallel to that we've got chris gore who i see on um on heroes every once in a while and who i knew from attack of the show primarily before that um he'd be good at inner geekdom i would say and possibly also uh uh the regular schmodown as well brett sheridan just for a lark man i gotta see it <laughs> yo i love brett to the future i don't care what people say that's one of my favorite segments on the Rose no show so um please I just want to see Brett Sheridan go up against someone who is like equal to his gaming, uh, his 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 uh, trivia ability. Maybe put him against Finstock. That would be interesting. <laughs> I can't knock Finstock. He did really well last episode that he was on. So let me fix my face. I want to see a battle between um, Emma and uh, Grace Hancock. They're building up a rivalry between the two of them. So I know eventually it may come to an actual match between the two of them. It would be really dope to see. I want to see what Grace is capable of. So go get Grace in there. Uh, someone who is um, who co-hosts uh, Meet the Movie Press with, uh, with Jeff Snyder. His name is Simon Thompson. He's been a long time writer and uh, uh, a, a, a journalist in the movie scene. And um, it'd be really cool to see him. I, I, I don't think we've seen an Englishman on uh, on the showdown yet. Maybe we have, and I just forgot. But uh, Simon Thompson is really funny, and I would really love to see him on the showdown as well. Uh, someone who uh, was affiliated with uh, AMC Movie Talk for a long time, and then she parted ways with them um, slightly before they moved over to Collider. Amy Rose Eisenbach. Uh, she is a dynamite in horror. I know she's a big time horror fan, but she also is into indie indie film and she's working on producing her own indie film so i know she's probably busy right now but she's shown up on collider movie talk once or twice since they moved over to there just to be you know a guest uh a guest seat at the table so to see amy rose on an episode of um on on, uh, on the schmodown would be fantastic i would love to see it um cats that are out of town um uh, john flickinger i know some people have been asking for him to be on the Schmodown, and I'd like to see it too. He's, he's got a fun channel called The Flick Pick over on YouTube, and his own other channel, which it kind of, they inter, they under, inter, they're interwoven between the two. So um, maybe one of these days he can get John to be on. He's been on the Schmodown movie show once or twice too. Uh, Doug Walker from uh, uh, The Nostalgia Critic, and uh, that guy with glasses. Uh, that cat also, uh, he's, he's, he's very knowledgeable about the film, and I know he's out of town, so it's kind of hard to nail him down. Um, but he comes to town every once in a while over in uh, so SoCal, so I, I think it is possible to maybe wrangle him in for a match. Um, and uh, this is an odd choice, but I love these guys. They do a lot of great dubs on YouTube uh, for uh, for for like for Star Wars and stuff like that. They're the Aural Knots. 
um, for Team Battle, they would be fucking hilarious. I would love to see those cats be on there. I don't know if they're actually based out of California or they're from somewhere else, but um, if they are based out of California, I would love them to, to reach out to the Auro Knots and uh, see if they'd be interested in being in the Schmodown. That would be fantastic to get them on deck. Now, this is a controversial choice because I know there's kind of bad blood between them and Collider and Schmoes right now. But if they ever sort out their differences, Red Letter Media, I would love to see on the Schmodown. I would love to see it. Their, their knowledge of bad film <laughs> is off the chain. This is not likely. I don't think this is going to happen. I think, I mean, grandly, I, I, I don't think it's gotten to the point where they're like, they hate, they hate, they hate each other. But uh, I know that things are not 100% cool between both sides right now when it comes to that. But um, if it ever does become that way and they're ever in town in L.A., it would be cool to see Red Letter Media on there. And maybe that would help to kind of smooth things over. Maybe maybe they would. Maybe this is all just a ruse to build up beef between both sides. So there's a big blow up on the showdown. That would be great. <laughs> now, that's a story. <laughs> not likely, though. Not likely. Now, these are some names you may not know, guys, but these are people from uh, personalities in gaming that I've I've watched throughout the years that I think are fantastic, uh, who I think would be dynamite on the Schmodown. Uh, Mark and Dave from Classic Game Room. I mentioned Dave the other day over on his channel, uh, Retro Gaming Rewind. If uh, if there was ever, if, if there is a God and things worked out where Mark was going to LA and Dave went with him and they went on the Schmodown to play, those guys have movie knowledge, man. They watch, they, their movie knowledge may be I know Mark's movie knowledge kind of res resonates in the 80s and 90s, but um, I think Dave could pick up and pick up the slack on on modern films, and it would be a dynamite team. I'd love to see them reunite on the Schmodown. If you guys don't know about Classic Game Room, when it first started, it was one of the first shows that focused on gaming that was actually streamed on the internet. Um, it, they, they were with a company that actually uh, ventured into streaming original content onto the internet way back in the late 90s early 2000s they were pioneers in that shit don't get it twisted you can go back and watch a lot of their old videos over on classic game rooms channel uh, mark uploaded all of them or at least the majority of them so you can run back and see those plus of all the other new content they're putting out in their respective places um they're still cool with each other they they they, they talk every once in a while uh, on special videos that uh mark does for uh, classic game room so and I'm sure that they talk quite a bit off offline too. So I would love to see it personally. I think those guys are amazing. Um, also, uh, this is someone. This is this is a pair of dudes that you guys would not know at all. But if I had clips to show you, uh, Team BFF from Next Level Battle Circuit. It's a fighting game weekly tournament that happens over on Team Spooky's channel over on YouTube. Sorry, now you, well YouTube as well. But they're over on Twitch.tv slash Team Spooky. Replace the. Uh, the O's with zeros, and you'll find it. Um, it's IFC Yipes and Lee Chung. Now, these two in the in the fighting game community are very famous commentators, and they're funny as hell. You can find a ton of clips with them on the on the internet. A base monster has quite a bit of them, and those guys crack me up every week. They also quote movie quotes like fucking crazy. Um, and they know movies. They watch movies all the time. They quote it, and it comes up pretty organically in their conversations when they do commentary on Street Fighter Five and whatnot. Um, they're to me like the the dark horse pick to show up on the showdown. If they wanted some gaming personalities to go up against each other in teams, I would love to see IFC Yipes and Lee Chung. They're in New York though, so it's kind of hard. But they do travel for tournaments in SoCal all the time, at least every once in a while, especially for majors. So realistically, it could be possible. Um, I would love to see it. Um, I don't even think Yipes and Lee Chung know about the showdown, but I bet if they were asked to be on the show, they would jump at that chance. I, I bet they would. Um, also in the fighting game community is Gutex and Mike Ross. They have a show on YouTube called um, The Ex Excellent Adventures which is them playing Street Fighter V primarily, and the com their chemistry is off the chain. They don't, I don't really hear them quote movies all that much, but I know those two would actually be pretty entertaining to, uh, uh, contestants to be on the showdown if possible, and I would love to see those guys be on there. Um, someone that the internet knows quite a bit is Angry Joe, and he's definitely out of town. He lives in Austin, much like uh, the cats from Double Toasted. And Angry Joe, and I know that Angry Joe and... Um, and, and Jeremy Johns are pretty tight. They've I've seen them in several videos together. And uh, when they go to the same events, they meet up. So if anything, that'd be a, a cool cat to network into the Schmodown. And he does watch movies. He does movie reviews on his channel as well as video game reviews. So Angry Joe, I think, would be a pretty good pick um, if he was ever in the L.A. He might come into town for E3, actually. So that's actually not a bad deal. E3 is right around the corner. It's in the beginning of June. So if, if anything, if... Uh, 
if by some miracle someone at Collider sees this <laughs> and wants to reach out to Angry Joe and say, hey, while you're in town for E3, would you like to be on the Smowdown? That would be really cool. He goes, he travels there every year, so that would be dope. Uh, another group of people that travel to E3 every year are the Djibouti Studios crew. They've been on the YouTube for ages. And most people know them from Djibouti dubs, which uh, they, they do uh, dubs of commercials and sometimes movies. But um, they're knowledgeable about film. Uh, they also are knowledgeable about gaming. And uh, I think Justin and the crew are fucking hilarious too. And for them to be on the team battle, I think both Angry Joe and the Djibouti Studios crew would be fucking great at Inner Geekdom. If there's like an Inner Geekdom five way to bring them in there. Those guys are fucking funny. If you've never seen them, Djibouti Dubs and Djibouti Studios, check out their videos. And uh, I think I think uh, Djibouti Studios is based out of LA or in SoCal somewhere. So it may be quite possible to get them on there. They get a lot of views, man. And uh, it would be cool YouTube uh, personalities to bring onto the show. Uh, I think they would be down. Honestly, I think they would. Uh, last but not least, uh, miscellaneous celebrities. Uh, I, I wanted to name off uh, just a, a few. Uh, Roger Craig Smith and Jamie Costa are voice actors and uh, impressionists that have both been on uh, Schmoes No and been affiliated with the show in some way, shape, or form. I'd love to see them uh, be in the Schmodown, maybe have team voice actors. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, also, um, what's his name? John Roca knows a lot of voice actors too. Uh, that would probably be dynamite on the show. I'd love to see some more voice actors actually be contestants on the Schmodown. Um, also, Booker T, man, the one and only, man, Booker T. I'd love to see him on the Smowdown, man. I'd love to see how well he would do, man. I would, I'd like to see him. And Chris Jericho would be another interesting choice of uh, people who are in the WWE to be on the Smowdown if they ever if they have free time or they're in town to do that. Speaking of uh, former wrestlers, uh, the one and only Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They've been campaigning hard to get him on the show. But in order to do that, they do need more views. They do need more comments. They do need more attention brought to the show so that way they can you know get someone like him to be on there i would i wish the rock would do it because he does stuff with screen junkies every once in a while he's tight with them but i guess because they were um they kind of implemented their friendship with him with the rock from years on from doing like movie junkets and stuff like that he's kind of he knows them a lot better than i'd say the schmoes or collider but i would but then again christian worked in the wwe so i wonder how well um <clears throat> how much he's been in contact with the rock since or how well his connection with The Rock is. There's that one infamous scene uh, from WWE way back in the day in the early 2000s where it was Christian Harloff in the hallway at, behind the behind uh, the stage at an event and The Rock walks past him and he's Christian is super fucking young in <laughs> that clip. But um, I know they've had you know interactions before and I would love to see him on there. Along with Kevin Hart, a guy that um, the Rock has been co-starring with quite a bit in some uh, recent movies. Kevin Hart is also one of the most famous comedians in the United States today. It'd be really cool to see him on there. And Kevin Hart's a workaholic, much like The Rock. I would hope they would find some time to do the Schmodown uh, in in lieu of Jumanji's release. That'd be really cool. Um, someone who they've been um, they've been they've been uh, alluding to that may possibly be on the Schmodown sometime in the future is Kevin Smith. And being that Mark Bernardin has been on the show before, I would love to see a fat man on Batman team up between those two and another team would be ph phenomenal. Or just Kevin versus another director. I know in the past, uh, Christian has mentioned uh, what he'd like to see possibly as a battle between directors. You know, uh, it'd be really dope to see uh, Kevin Smith versus Quentin Tarantino, to say the least. Uh, that guy, uh, I'd love to see both of them on the show just going at it, man, because you know Quentin don't give a damn about comic book movies. Well, let's not say he doesn't give a damn because he, he's toyed with the idea of doing some, but uh, you know, that's Kevin's joint right there, so he'd be strong in genre stuff. It'd be interesting to see exactly what Tarantino was strong in, but if Tarantino lands on the 70s, it's over. <laughs> Some other directors I'd love to see on the Schmodown too are uh, James Gunn, of course, uh, most famous for the um, Guardians of the Galaxy movies, but I've enjoyed all his movies he's done so far, and uh, I think he'd be definitely game for something like the Schmodown. It'd be really cool. He's been on AMC Movie Talk in the past, so I, I think that things are cool between them. It'd be nice to see him on there. And Guillermo del Toro just recently did an interview for Collider Nightmares, so to get him on the show, I think it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, possibly, if he has time in his schedule. But to say, see a team battle with all four of those cats going down going at it man that would be awesome i'd be i'd be i would be the episode for the ages man please please make it happen it would be the dopest um last but not least i've got two other choices um one of the cats on this i don't know i'm not sure exactly how good he would be at trivia but it would just be fun to see him on the show is john boyega 
I'd actually like to see him more on uh, Jedi Council, if anything, than on the Schmodown. But if we could get him on both, that would be phenomenal. That would be just the best. Please. Please, John Boyega. I beg you. I know you're busy. Make some time for the Schmodown. <laughs> Maybe around the time that The Force Awakens goes down, maybe there'll be another Star Wars throwdown. Maybe it could be him and Sam Witwer on the team versus uh, Knapsack and uh, Knapsack and Gampy again. I would love to see another run back and then have on the mic Freddie Prince Jr. Please, Freddie is amazing on the mic. They don't use him on the mic enough. Like the one time he did commentary in a match, he was so good. He was so good. Please, another time. I'd love to see it. Um, and last but not least, uh, I know this is the most unlikely pairing, but maybe y'all could do this um, as a team battle versus uh, another team. Michael Rappaport and G Moody from the I Am Rappaport podcast. I'm just saying. I, I know Mike don't give a fuck about genre, but he'd probably be strong in movies from the 70s and just like overall films, um, he might be actually very strong at. So I'd, I'd like to see exactly how Mike would be on this show and how he would pop off is the most important thing. I know he'd have he'd have a great entrance. That's all I know. He'd be amazing. And G Moody is awesome too. He's a really good co-host. I would say he's one co-host, podcast co-host of the year in 2015, man. There's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> get him on this show please please but that's it man I've, I've named off enough i've rambled off at the mouth enough you know these endings run long but uh thanks for watching this uh this commentary video on the showdown run back again with your boy sobo ryu if you um ever feel the inclination to do so follow me over on twitter at sobo ryu also follow us on twitter at shin station and um follow what we do man uh we do a lot uh but well, i'm getting back into streaming again and also, if you listen to Gundam at MHQ, uh, new episodes are coming up very soon. I'd say hopefully by this weekend. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for episodes 186 and 187, where we wrap up our reviews on Iron Blooded Orphans, the latest Gundam series. And uh, other than that, uh, make sure to always check out youtube.com slash collider videos and youtube.com slash schmoes know. And also check out the Facebook group for the Schmodown, which is at facebook.com slash group slash schmodown. Don't sleep, go there, join the conversation. There's a lot that's going on there. And if you haven't done it yet, I tell you again, go to the original videos and leave comments. Uh, there's a great playlist down below also for all the previous Schmodown episodes. So if you're new to the Schmodown and you want to check out the previous episodes of the show, by all means, definitely do that, man. Let them know how they're doing, man. Thumbs up the videos. Get them more exposure, man, so we can see this thing grow, man. In the meantime, thanks again for watching the Schmodown Run Back. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Holy calamity, scream insanity, or oh, you ever going to be another great fan of me, boy? Okay, look, I've never in my life tried to really go at you in your suits and stuff. Tonight, I am stressing to you. You take this outfit home and you burn it. We don't want to see this. I know you don't double back with outfits. I've never seen you in an outfit twice, but you take this right here. I don't care if it's Versace, name brand. It costs Saeed. you. I, no, Saeed, I don't care. You take this and you burn it. It's not any part I can keep? No, nothing. So when you get done with this, you should be butt ass naked. This should be <laughs> this should be burned. Okay? It's good to see you, like always. In, in the shoes too. Just burn them. Okay? They just burn it. Don't ask no questions. Just burn the whole the red socks, which the people can't see at home. Take all this, handkerchief, lime thong, all that. Burn it. Okay? Fire cell. Burn it. Gasoline, yeah. right. kerosene, either one. Okay, Terry Ernie, Kenny, say hello. Give my best to Charles. Miss you, boy. See well in a minute. Uh, thanks for the advice. <laughs> Back to you, EJ. <laughs>